Welcome to Technify.com. In the previous video, we learned about binary adder circuits. And, in this video, we will learn about another arithmetic circuit, binary subtractor circuit. A digital subtractor is a circuit that subtracts two binary numbers. It is also a fundamental building block of digital circuits, and it is used in many different applications, such as calculators, computers, and digital signal processors. Same as the adder circuit, subtractor also has two types. Half subtractor and full subtractor. Let's explain half subtractor with the help of its circuit diagram and truth table. A half subtractor is a combinational circuit that performs the subtraction of two single bits. It has two inputs, called A and B. A is the minuend and B is the subtrahend and two outputs, called the difference and the borrow. Half subtractor is designed by combining the XOR gate, and gate, and NOT gate. Input A of both gates is connected through NOT gate and input B is connected directly. XOR gate produces the subtraction of inputs, and AND gate produces borrow out. The Boolean expression of the half subtractor circuit is difference equals A XOR function B borrow equals complement of a dot b let's explain half subtractor with the help of the truth table as you can see there are two inputs a and b and two outputs diff france and borrow let's apply the inputs and check the output of the half subtractor apply zero and zero difference and borrow out both will be zero apply zero and one the difference will be one and the borrow out also will be one because 1 can't minus from 0. So we have to take borrow 1 from next bit. So this will become 0, 1, so the difference result will be 1. Apply 1 and 0, the difference will be 1 and the borrow will be 0. Apply 1 and 1, the difference will be 0 and the borrow will be 0. Half subtractors can perform subtraction operations on single bit binary data. For two or more bits we have to use a full subtractor. That can accept an additional third input as a borrow-in. Full subtractor. A full subtractor is a combinational circuit that performs subtraction of two binary digits, taking into account the borrow from the previous adjacent lower minuend bit. It has three inputs, called the A, minuend, the B, subtrahend, and the borrow-in, and two outputs, called the difference and the borrow-out. We can make a full subtractor by connecting two half subtractors back to back and one or gate. Boolean expression of a full adder will be diff France equals a XOR function B, XOR function B in. Borrow out equals complement of a dot B plus complement of a dot C plus B dot C. Let's explain full subtractor with the help of truth table. As you can see there are three inputs A, B, and borrow in, and two outputs difference and borrow out. Let's apply the inputs and check the output of the full subtractor circuit. When all inputs are zero, the difference and borrow out both will be zero. When B in equals zero, A equals zero and B equals one, the difference will be one and the borrow in also will be one. Because one can't minus from zero. So we have to take borrow 1 from next bit. So this will become 0, 1, so the difference result will be 1. When B in equals 0, A equals 1, and B equals 0, the difference will be 1 and the borrow out will be 1. When B in equals 0, A equals 1, and B equals 1, the difference will be 0 and the borrow out will be 1. When B in equals 1, A equals 0, and B equals 0, the difference will be 1 and the borrow out will be 0. When B in equals 1, A equals 0, and B equals 1, the difference will be 0 and the borrow out also will be 0. When B in equals 1, A equals 1 and B equals 0, the difference will be 0 and the borrow out also will be 0. When B in equals 1, A equals 1 and B equals 1, the difference will be 1 and the borrow out also will be 1. I hope you have learned all about digital subtractors, the components of a digital subtractor, its operation, and its applications. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. 
As a challenge, I encourage you to build a subtractor circuit by using logic gate ICs and try to apply different inputs and observe outputs. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.